Perth's median house price is above $500,000 for the first time since December 2018, according to the latest Reba.com data, with Perth's median house sale price increasing to $508,000 during April. Reba President Damien Collins said the Perth property market continued its strong recovery in April. It's a testament to the strength of our local market that even with the Easter and Anzac public holidays, as well as another lockdown during the month, the prices continue to rise. Let's get into the details, guys, with this month's Perth market update. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to our market update video series where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. So CoreLogic data shows Perth's home value index lifted 0.8% in April. Now Mr. Collins said April marks the ninth consecutive month of price increases. Since August 2020, the Perth home value index has increased 9.1% and is up 5.9% alone in 2021. Now, Reba.com sales data shows 87 suburbs recorded an increase in median house sale price during April. Mr. Collins said the suburbs to experience the biggest increase were Bullsbrook, up 7.8% to 352,000, Bicton, up 6.6% to 1.14 million, Wilson, up 3.9% to 533,000, Mount Lawley, up 3.5% to 1.035 million, and Secret Harbour, up 3.3% to 445,000. Other suburbs to perform well were Swanburn, South Perth, Mandra, Pinjara, and Victoria Park. Now there are 8,742 properties listed for sale on Rewa at the end of April. Mr. Collins said, pleasingly listings for sale have increased 5.8% during the month. It's clear that the current property market conditions are starting to entice more sellers to the market, which is helping to keep up with demand and provide buyers with more choice. On an annual basis though, there were 25% fewer properties for sale than this time last year. So demand is still outweighing supply. Now, the median time to sell a home is now less than two weeks with Reba.com data revealing median selling days dropping to 13 during April. Mr. Collins said this is two days less than it took in March 2021 and 24 days quicker than in April 2020. Despite there being more properties available for sale, buyer appetite is still very strong and sellers continue to enjoy the quickest turnaround in sales times that they have in more than 15 years. So Reba.com data shows 28 suburbs had median selling times less than 10 days during April. Mr. Collins said the 10 fastest selling suburbs in April were Subiaco, Miranda and Tapping, which all at six days, Harrisdale, Heathridge, Kinross, Ocean Reef, Padbury and Palmyra all at seven days, and Alexander Heights rounding out the 10 at eight days. Now listings for rent increased 2.5% during April with 2,731 properties available for rent on Rewa.com at the end of the month. Mr. Collins said this is an encouraging sign and only the third time in the last 12 months that we've seen it, listings for rent increase in Perth. Now that the rental moratorium is over, it appears investors are starting to return to the market, which is something we desperately need to help rectify the state's national rental, sh rental shortage, I should say. Although there is still a long way to go, this is a positive trend and one we hope will gather more momentum in the coming months. And that's all from Mr. Collins. Now, Perth's median rent price increased $10 to $420 a week in April. Mr. Collins said the last time rent prices were this high was June 2015, but this is still $30 a week less than the peak median rent price of $450 a week in 2014. Now, Perth tenants still continue to enjoy some of the most affordable rents in the country. Now, Rewa.com data shows 38 suburbs recorded an increase in median house rent during the month, with the strongest performers being Mount Pleasant, up 30 bucks to 580, and Seville Grove, up $20 to 350 bucks a week. Other suburbs to perform well were Wilson, Averley, Midland, Gosnells, Maddington, Waikiki, Alchemos, and Spearwood, Mr. Collins said. Now, the medium time to lease a rental in April was 18 days, according to Rewa.com data. And this is one day faster than it was in March and eight days faster than it was this time last year, Mr. Collins said. The fastest leasing suburbs during April was Seville Grove, Atwell and Linwood, all of which had median selling times, or leasing times, I should say, of 13 days during the month. Other suburbs to record fast median leasing times were Balka, Alchemos, Averley, all 14 days, and Basildon and uh, Willerton and Beckenham, all 15 days. Mr. Collins said also the two instances of COVID-19 community outbreak that have occurred since the 23rd of April should have a minimal short-term impact on the market, providing that we can get on top of the outbreaks quickly. There's no sustained lockdowns or significant economic impact. Rewa anticipates that the Perth property market will continue its strong recovery. Well, guys, that's all from me today. Please remember to like, comment, and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, and remember guys, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.